This video demonstrates how to customize session handling, customize user data, and add verifications. When we left off from the record and replay video, there were several errors appearing in the TriScript true log, and an application error occurred saying that the session had timed out. The ShopIt application is designed to present these errors specifically to demonstrate the process of using the customized session handling wizard. Session IDs are strings of random data used by the server to track the multiple users it is communicating with. When we recorded the script, we also recorded the session ID in use at that time, but it's no longer valid and this is why the error is occurring now. To access the wizard, click on Customize Session Handling and choose Find Differences. A message will appear asking if you want to load the recorded true log. Click Yes. This wizard will perform a comparison between record and replay true logs to identify session ID candidates. Choose Whole Pages and also select the button to keep the true logs synchronized. When on the Source Differences tab, click Find Next on the Step Through True Log dialog. Note where it says no differences were found in the content between the replayed data and the recorded data. Continue to step through. Here we can see that a session ID candidate has been found. This is the value on record compared with what was replayed. This comparison is performed on server response data. Right click and choose Customize Session Handling and the wizard will appear. The parsing function wizard has already filled in the required data, but you can choose your own variable name and whether you want to print or write out the value after it's parsed. You also see how many occurrences are found in the script, and lastly, whether you want to replace all occurrences with the variable. Click OK and the script will be modified automatically. Now you run another try script and notice it replays successfully this time. The next item we will look at is how to post different data to the server. You'll notice that we're still sending the same data that we did during record and this is not very lifelike. So let's customize the user data. We will perform these steps on the user's name, which was user1 during record. Click on Customize User Data and choose Customize User Input Data in HTML Forms. This wizard will highlight in red all the fields where we can customize the value being entered. When we hover over, it highlights the code where the form value exists in the script. Right click and choose Customize Value to launch the wizard. Choose Create New Parameter. Choose Parameter from Multi-Column Data File and in the file name drop-down, choose Login. Select the first column and click Next. We can choose to pick up rows sequentially or randomly and to pick up new data per transaction or per test. Choose Randomly and click Finish. The script will be automatically modified. Now, run another try script and notice that the user is now user 6. Next, we will look at verifications. The purpose of verifications are to check on an item in the replay and check it has a specific value. To prove the transaction was successful, we will verify the text, thank you very much. This will only appear when the order is complete. Select the text you want to verify, right click, and choose Verify Selected Text from the menu. The verification wizard lets you define how you want the verification to behave. We are setting a constant value and checking that it appears exactly once on the page. And if it doesn't appear, we want our function to return an error. Click OK and the script will be updated. Then run the try script again to see the results of the verification. When a verification is successful, it appears in blue in the true log. If we go to this page, we can see that the correct text has appeared.